Hi, Capricorn. There's something very interesting going on with your energy. This is my third time attempting your reading. Uh, we're going to try it again and see what comes out. But there's something quite serious, I feel, in your energy and pretty complicated as well. So let's get into it. I'm going to use these oracle cards to see what energies are supporting you as well as what energies might be presenting a challenge at this time. And then we'll get into the tarot. If this reading resonates with you, there will be an extended available if you want to go a layer deeper with me. If it's not your message, you can check out your other placements if you like my style. If you don't, it's all good. No worries. Um, thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Andy, if you're new here. Okay, I was hearing something in the previous reading that I tried to start, which was only a couple minutes in, uh, that something about introductions like you're going to be needing someone or you're introducing someone to some I don't know there's some kind of introduction going on uh, that you need to pay attention to or be careful of there was also a message about being careful of um, instinct yeah it's like trust your instincts when it comes to the new people who enter your life at this time. My readings are timeless, so whenever you come across this, but I usually read for like the, the next three months, okay? I could be picking up on past energies as well, but I don't try to tap in further than three months because things change, you know, we all have free will, lots of, you know, the energies can shift. But in the next three months, I feel like you will be introduced to someone or there will be some kind of introduction of some sort. And you have to trust your instinct with this person. Let's put that out as your support. What's challenging you? Freedom. Hmm. Somebody could be introducing you to an avenue of freedom. So that could mean different things for you. It could be financial freedom. It could be uh, freedom from your relationship. F freedom in some way here. And something is not exactly how it seems. The defender. What are you defending? Desire. Don't settle for something here as well. There's something that you really desire and that you want and you have to stick to it. Okay, you have to defend that desire. It's almost like someone's going to come in and say, oh, Capricorn, you know, I see you're dealing with this difficulty over here. If you do this, you could be free from that. Oh, it feels a little scammy in a way. Could be a person too, a relationship. Maybe this is like some kind of, I don't know, third party thing coming in. I'm not sure. Let's get into it. Let's go further. Tell me more about this instinct spirit that's supporting Capricorn. Power. Mm, that's where your power is. So there's a difference between instinct and intuition. Okay. Instinct is that feeling we get in our gut. It's like a punch to the gut where we're like, <gasps> you know, like, ooh, <laughs> that doesn't feel good. Or we get, um, we feel some kind of physiological reactions. You know, maybe we get our hair stand up on the back of our neck or our heart starts racing and, and we have some kind of response to something uh, in a pretty, obvious way okay that right now is your power your intuition's a lot more gentle okay um it kind of speaks to you in a soft way it guides you it has some knowledge in it instinct is not really knowledge based you don't know why you're feeling the way you're feeling it just happens okay so i mean there's lots more to be to be said about the differences between the two uh, and you're definitely intuitive, but right now in this situation, you have to trust your instinct. Okay. That is your power. And you are grounded. You're Capricorn, Cardinal Earth, right? Like you are the wolf here. <laughs> you're also kind of a lone wolf at times. Uh, so trust your own way of doing something I feel like is important and ground yourself. If something feels like your feet are coming off the ground, be wary of it. Oh, this is interesting. Tell me more about the freedom for the challenge spirit. Peace.
some of you could really be wanting to make a change or get out of a situation so that you could find peace. But there's something about this storm, this whole transition from one energy to another, or one cycle to another, that has to be done carefully. And, and don't be persuaded here as well. And you're not easily persuaded, Capricorn. Oh, what's going on? Just give me one more for what's going on here. Eruption. Anguish and destruction. See, I knew something, something like warning a little bit. Let's get into the tarot here. But Spirit is showing me that whatever this promise of freedom and peace is from somebody else outside of yourself or maybe this is a part of yourself convincing you to do something that isn't good for you you take it how it resonates i feel like ringing this little bell here okay um there's something in it that's very destructive destructive and it's gonna erupt into an energy of anguish um if you don't trust your instincts Okay, what tarot deck should I use? Okay, let's use this one. Tell me what's going on here for Capricorn. We'll get three shuffles. For Capricorn spirit guides, any Capricorn placement. going on here we have the nine of cups at the bottom okay so that's a wish fulfillment mm. yeah something you don't see coming here your advice is the four of swords see it's like don't yeah you have to <laughs> hold off with something yeah hmm. wow all right capricorn the, the person you're dealing with or it doesn't have to be a person it could be a workplace or some other kind of situation uh but they're coming up here as the empress the devil and the four of cups in reverse could be another Capricorn and we also have Taurus and Libra here you know it could be any sign but whoever they are they're operating in this energy okay they also appear very grounded uh, hmm. it's like someone's making you an offer you can't refuse the devil and the four of cups in reverse It feels like they're coming towards you and they're like, I know you've been waiting for this for some time, Capricorn. Ooh. Okay, we'll come back to them because there's something going on here that can't be trusted for sure. Uh, your current energy is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Well, you got something to say, but I feel like you could be biting your tongue here. The Five of Cups and the King of Swords. I don't know what is happening here. Like I said in the beginning, it feels very complicated, but the energies that I'm seeing are, is like there's somebody here who's saying that they have something to offer you that you should definitely move towards to get yourself out of some kind of situation. I'm hearing psychological. Maybe this is even some kind of 
so-called healer of some sort. I don't know, some therapist type person. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um, but then there's also an energy here of somebody who's selfish that you've been dealing with. Maybe it's the same person, but it feels different to me. And it's like you realize some truth about them and maybe why they've been sad about something or, or, um, There's some regret here that somebody has and there's something about it that isn't really coming from a place of integrity and you're not too happy about this. Justice in reverse. Um, it almost feels like manipulation, but I don't think it, it could be for some of you, but it, it more feels like you're dealing with someone who's selfish here. And it's like they can't see past their own selfishness in some way. And you're pretty upset about this. Somebody could be convincing you to confront this person and your instincts are telling you like, I should probably just not say anything. And if that's what's happening, Capricorn, you have to go with your instincts because if you do confront this person, it's going to turn into this. Okay, this could be family, friends, some guidance counselor here, <laughs> I don't know, some somebody here who's saying, Capricorn, just why don't you just tell them how you feel? Why don't you just open up? You know, why don't you just get it on the table and you know better? And they're saying that's going to bring you freedom and peace and so on, but not in this situation. Tell me more about what is this devil empress person? Uh, what is their intention here with Capricorn? Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Why? But, but why is this not good for Capricorn? This could also be a company trying to convince you to walk away from another company. Or a person trying to convince you to walk away from another person. The Page of Cups. Somebody's acting in their own self-interest. That's as much as I'm seeing right now. Okay, so that's what you need to know about this person. Whatever they're offering you or trying to get you to do here. The Eight of Cups in reverse is for what surprises you. I just saw 13 on the clock there. This is somebody potentially returning after a long time. And opening up. Yeah, Capricorn, it looks like, you know, it's interesting reading here. We got going on the Ace of Pentacles. We got somebody here who doesn't want to leave your energy space, whatever that means. If you're the cross watcher, this could be your message. So take it however. Uh, but it's like after a long time, now they drop their guard, but they're still not being, they're still not coming forward with their heart space. I'm hearing public announcement. I don't know. Maybe they're making some kind of public announcement in relationship to you, but they are making an offer. Ace of pentacles and two of pentacles, four of pentacles in reverse, but it seems like the offer they're making you, it's like, they're not really sure or the way they're presenting it doesn't really seem genuine. It seems like, I don't know, they're, something fishy here, Capricorn. Something fishy, okay? <laughs> Definitely. The Three of Pentacles in reverse for what's ending. This is trying to, I'm hearing, get someone to see things your way, maybe for some of you. 
okay, you're no longer going to try to do that. Or maybe somebody else is trying to get you to see things their way. That's ending. But this is like not working together with people, not trying to work towards an achievement here or mm -hmm, complete some plan. I'm hearing uh, all work and no fun makes for a dull boy or something like that. <laughs> okay, the chariot, maybe we're working too much here. The chariot in reverse. Something wasn't working and it was and it just wasn't going anywhere here. No matter how much you hoped it would or somebody would hope it would, it, the energy's deflated. Death. I hope this is making sense to you, Capricorn. You know, sometimes I can get a, like a real clear story of what's going on, but in readings like this, I feel like there's people tuning in who have very different situations going on, but are working with the same energy. Okay, so for some of you, this is happening in work. Others of you, this is happening with your, I'm hearing health provider. I don't know, that seems to keep coming up. Uh, some of you, this could be a, a love relationship. Okay, so. Whatever was deflated and not working, is no longer going to be the main focus of something, okay? I feel like somebody was trying to push against the energy. The energy wanted to go in one way and another person was trying to redirect it and that's all ending. What is beginning is the three of wands in reverse, which, which is telling me you don't see something coming here. There's a surprise for sure. I'm seeing a pocket watch here. Let's see. What uh what is surprising here? Ten of Wands in reverse. Take a load off, Sally. Take a load off, Sally. Is that a song? Um The High Priestess in reverse. It's like you're going to figure out you don't need to invest your energy somewhere. What comes out? The Eight of Wands. Somebody's communicating with you here about maybe being single or about their independence. Yeah, somebody wants you to go in a very particular direction with them. And this is somebody that you didn't anticipate to communicate with you or open up to you in this way or make you this offer, give you this opportunity. It's kind of coming out of nowhere, Eight of Wands. Uh, even though you've been kind of feeling like something was coming in for you, like something was going to happen, you, it's like you're still surprised when it does happen and it takes like this energetic load off of you, okay? And because this energetic load of maybe anticipation or wondering like where you're going or something like that is taken off of, uh, taken off, you know, your energy is freed up, you might feel like you should move in this direction. Okay, so Spirit's saying don't confuse the energy of revelation with the energy of the energy of what perception what okay so you're gonna have a revelation about what's what's coming towards you what somebody wants from you what they're offering you there's something new being laid out on the table here and that's going to feel like a relief to you. Ah, it's revealed, right? Okay, it feels good. It's revealed. But it's not necessarily what it seems. Like there's something here that you, sh like don't confuse that good feeling with having now to go towards whatever it is that is being revealed. 
it's great that that job offer came in, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right job. It's great that that person is finally opening up and discussing something. It doesn't mean that you need to go back to them. You know, it's like that, the emperor. There's something that you're going to have to put your foot down with as well. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> your advice, the four of swords. I'm interested in the extended because I feel like we're going to clear some of this up. Hopefully <laughs> there'll be less of you there. Um, yeah. And I'll dig into this energy. Like who, what is this exactly? What do they want? All of this stuff. For some of you, it's someone different than the person that was previously bothering you. So pay attention to those new introductions. Okay. Some of you, oh, this is like for one person out there. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it's coming through, but some of you are going to be set up like your friend's going to introduce you to someone and it's going to be someone you already know. Okay. Uh, four of wands no sorry four of swords here for your advice the knight of cups in reverse yeah this is like not going for that opportunity okay not opening your heart chakra here and not no okay this is taking a break relax rest because what's going to manifest in the next three months is an ending here this is like your advice is the four of swords and what manifests is the ten of swords. It's like you just keep on sleeping. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a negative way. It's like you keep to yourself. You put some boundaries around your energy. I also feel like you're not sharing exactly what you're thinking here about the situation with somebody. And it comes to an end. There it, Now it is the ten of swords. So there is something that is painful about this what what's happening here the seven of swords in reverse well you see the truth of something the three of cups in reverse somebody could just be wanting to have a good time with you and they're not really serious okay or they're lacking some kind of commitment here or this is like people have been gossiping and you're realizing that they that, that that's who they are There's some intentions here that aren't good and you realize them, okay? So the biggest takeaway from this reading is when you get an offer and an opportunity that seems like you're released or you hear from someone, it feels like you're free, you're finally at peace now, you have some understanding or a door is opening for you, you're going to have a gut instinct and this is only for the people who do actually get this gut instinct that something's off here, something's not right. Trust that, 100% trust that. Okay, let's go into your extended Capricorn. <laughs> We're gonna go deeper and, and see what's going on here. I'm gonna pull out a spread um, that looks directly at this devil character, Empress Devil character, uh, and then we'll, we'll see some more advice for you. But if this is where you go, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.